Information about the Rottweiler Siberian Husky Mix, Rotsky. The Rottweiler Siberian Husky Mix is a unique hybrid that is rather rare to find. Here is some information about this dog, which may prove helpful if you're looking to bring one home. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. There is a rare and beautiful designer breed in town. It has a unique personality, expressive eyes, and lots of love to give. This is the Rotsky, or the Rottweiler Siberian Husky Mix. This is a very good dog to have as a pet, as it is loyal, social, and loving. It will alert you of any danger, and won't let any harm come to you or any member of its family. It can do well with children if socialized properly. The Rotsky makes for a good workout partner, or even as a movie companion, at home. Being a relatively new mix, there is not much known about it as of now. But all in all, this is an all-rounder dog. And about the eyes, you will find that many Rotskys have complete heterochromia, which means that both the eyes are of different colors. Fascinating, and extremely cute. Read on for some more information about this mixed breed. Some of the parameters like weight and height provided below, may have a wide range, but as is true with all mixed breeds, any characteristic is difficult to predict, as every individual puppy can inherit different traits from either of or both its parents. The Rottweiler and the Siberian Husky Appearance A Rotsky puppy typically looks like a fluffier Rottweiler with a Husky's eyes. It has the head of the Rottweiler, a slightly longer muzzle, and partially dropped ears. However, this is a general description, every individual pup will take up any of the characteristics of its parents, so the appearance will vary. What traits the puppies take from their parents cannot be predicted beforehand. So before getting a Rotsky home, check out some pictures on the internet and read up on the breed, so that you know what to expect. As for the height and weight, the parameters will be those of both its parents, combined. Thus, a Rotsky puppy can be between 21 and 26 inches tall, and weigh between 50 and 100 pounds. The Rotsky's coat is usually closer to the Huskies, and slightly longer than the Rottweilers. The coat will be dense rough, and may be silky. Coat colors will have a greater variety in them, ranging from black and white, to gray, red, black and tan, and brown. This is a mix that is very versatile in the looks department. Temperament Ah, now this is a little tricky. Thankfully, there is not a very stark personality difference between the two parent breeds. Both are very loyal, alert, independent, intelligent, brave, and social. However, both are prone to be wary of strangers. They make for good watchdogs, with Rottweilers making excellent guards as well. However, both these breeds must be supervised around very small children and other animals. They are not dangerous, but it is always better to be alert for everyone's sake. So when it comes to a Rotsky puppy, there is really no saying which way it will go. One thing you can be sure of is that it will love you a lot, and will be protective of you. There are, again, differences in individual personalities. Some puppies will be extremely friendly and outgoing, while some may not open up to strangers easily. The best way to know about your Rotsky pup's personality is to socialize him slash her as much as you can from a younger age. This helps a dog get used to the world around, and to the fact that there are other people and animals that it will come in contact with regularly. Training The Husky breed is known to be a bit difficult to train due to its independent nature, and is prone to stubbornness. This is also occasionally seen in a Rottweiler. Training a Rotsky puppy will thus, evidently, take time and patience. One thing that will definitely work is spacing out the training sessions to multiple times a day, with each session not lasting more than 10 minutes. Extended sessions can bore a pup greatly, finally resulting in nothing being achieved. A puppy's attention span is lower than that of a grown dog, grown here means 1.5 to 2 years and up, so take this into consideration while imparting training. Positive reinforcement and the treat system can work wonders. Keep your tone merry and gentle, your dog should feel like training is an enjoyable activity. When your dog does something right, use praises and maybe give him slash or a treat. A wrong command must not be rebuked, but redone. If your pup does not obey the command after you have given it two times, then physically, albeit gently, move your dog into the desired position. For instance, say sit and push his slash or rear down. Then say good sit and give a treat. Use this for all commands, and soon, your pup will begin to get the hang of it, and it will be an enjoyable activity for both of you. Exercise this is a dog that comes from very active parents, activity is in its genes. A Rotsky will require two walks or jogs a day, along with extra playtime. 
If you are someone who likes treks, then this dog will make a good companion. If you have a yard, then you can play with your dog there. A game of fetch or running are good workouts. Just be sure to fence your yard so that your dog does not run off after something suspicious or corner someone he or she finds odd. Also, while walking this dog, it is better not to let it off lead, again, as it may take off after something suspicious. Being independent, there is a chance that a Rotsky may not come back immediately when called, so always preferably walk your dog on a lead, at least on the street. Health Although there are no known health issues of this breed that are severe, there are some problems that commonly affect both its parents. Hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, parvovirus, glaucoma, and osteochondritis desiccans, are some of these. When getting a Rotsky puppy, check the medical records of both its parents if available, and also have a talk with your vet about the same. The average lifespan of this breed is 10 to 13 years. Grooming The Rottweiler is a seasonal shedder, while the Husky sheds moderately all year round. So the shedding frequency of your pup will really depend on the more dominant genes. Brushing the coat a few times a week is still advisable, as it removes any dead hair. A bath can be given as required. Other than that, dental hygiene, nail clipping, and ear cleaning, are the other grooming needs. Also, the Rotsky is not a hypoallergenic breed, so it may not be the best option as a pet if you or any member of your family experiences dog allergies. Living Conditions Being a medium-sized breed, the Rotsky requires some space to move around. It can do all right in a big apartment if its daily exercise needs are met, but does better in a house with a yard. If you don't have a yard, you can take your dog to the dog park for a daily dose of workout too. As this is a relatively new mix, and kind of rare to find, there is not much known about it yet. The only thing to remember is that if you have this dog, then you need to be a firm, consistent owner whom your pet recognizes as the pack leader. This is true for all dogs, but particularly for mixes like these, which come from very independent parents. Otherwise, it's one of the best pets you can have. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.